we're excited to announce the release of the updated version of the Beauty Retouch panel. It's been almost half a year since the panels first came out and we're very happy with the great feedback we have been receiving from our users from all over the world. Our retouching panels are created for convenience and to help photographers and retouchers save time and improve their beauty fashion and portrait retouching workflows. In the new download package you will find the installation files for both the Pixel Juggler and Beauty Retouch panels, updated user manual PDF, licensing agreement and a readme first PDF file. Even if you have read the user manual before, take a look at it again, we have updated it slightly and described the newly added features. In the installation file folder you will find a couple of subfolders for the Beauty Retouch and Pixel Juggler installation files as well as the new brush presets file. In this package you will find just one universal installation file for the Beauty Retouch. You can install the panel on Adobe Photoshop CS6, CC and CC2014, but you will still need to make sure you're installing it via the appropriate Adobe Extension Manager which is matching your Photoshop version. And you will find the three files for the respective Photoshop versions for the Pixel Juggler in the other folder like before. A new addition to our download package is the new brush presets file, which we will talk about in just a moment. With this update we have added a few new and helpful features and they are new dodge and burn brushes which are located next to the old local and global dodge and burn buttons. Please be sure to install our brush presets first to allow these buttons work properly. The installation is as easy as double clicking on the brush preset file. Double check the preset panel in the options bar to make sure two new brush presets have been successfully added. Both of them are set to opacity 100% and flow 1% with pressure sensitivity turned off. The only difference is that the local brush size is 10 pixels and the global dodge and burn brush is 300 pixels in size. You can of course use them for whatever purposes you like, not only dodging and burning. Once the presets are installed, they will be triggered by the new dodge and burn brush buttons in the panel. If you would like to know why we created these settings for these presets, check out my recent video Mastering Brushes for Dodge and Burn Work on the Retouching Academy blog. I explain everything with lots of examples and even work on an exercise file which you can also download for practice. And back to the brush presets installation, there is also another method to install them through the options menu right in the presets panel. Select load tool presets, locate our presets installation file and you are done. Of course you don't need to install these presets twice, but you can choose either method. I personally have been working with our panels for much longer than they have been available for purchase and after a while I realized that sometimes I did not need to add a whole dodge and burn set of layers but only needed either to dodge or burn. I didn't like how adding full dodge and burn sets was cluttering my PSD layer stack so I thought it was a good idea to break them down and add each button separately to the panel as well. So now you can set up layers just for dodge or burn work and even the separate visual aid group. Moreover, these are not just curves adjustment layers, they are actually groups and if you need to add some color correction layers to the areas you have dodged or burned, you can add them right into these groups. Here is an example. And you can always throw in a set of visual aids and adjust it for the areas you are working on. Now the most exciting addition to our updated beauty retouch panel to me is the set of buttons for working with luminosity masks. This is not an educational tutorial on masking, so I won't get into explaining what luminosity masks are and how they work. This video is simply designed to demonstrate how our new buttons function and we will leave it up to you to educate yourself on this powerful masking method in Photoshop. However, I will try to make it simple even for those who have not worked with masks based on the channels data of their images. 
When you press the basic luminosity mask button on the panel, you will see a selection created based on the brightness values of the pixels in the blue channel of your image. At this point, you have areas that are brighter than mid-gray selected and you can expand it by pressing the plus button so that slightly darker areas are also included into this selection. You can press plus a few times to include more darker values into your selection. Now if you add any adjustment layer at this point, your selection will automatically affect its layer mask and all the areas that you have selected will be included in this mask. This way you have a very precise selection of the areas you'd like to affect with your corrections. I personally love using luminosity masks for color correction and especially artistic color grading. You can also make a selection of the brighter pixels of your image, expand it as much as you need and then invert the selection. This way, after you have inverted your selection, you will only affect whatever dark pixels were not included into your initial selection. All the bright areas are visible through the mask depending on their brightness and the dark areas are not completely visible or not visible at all also depending on how dark they are. Sometimes when you are dealing with overall brighter images and would only like to select the brightest highlights, you can subtract the selection from the basic selection. So you as always start with the basic button and then press the minus button to select fewer bright pixels. Once you are happy with your selection, add an adjustment layer of your choice and perform your color adjustments. At this point, they will only affect the brightest areas of your image. Similarly, you can make your selection, fine-tune it and then invert. For example, in this image, I will expand my selection by pressing plus from the basic selection. Then once I select most of the bright pixels, I will invert my selection and this way only the darkest areas of the image are selected now and I can work on them. Keep in mind that you can only expand or subtract your selections working from the basic selection. Pressing plus and then minus buttons will not work, so always start from the basic and go either way. You can take your mask in further and fine tune this mask by nesting your adjustment layers into groups and adding other masks onto the groups. We've given you a convenient tool, now it's all up to your creativity and imagination. We have also removed a couple of buttons because we needed room for the additional features and also due to their redundancy. They are the full body and portrait frequency separation presets. If you think you are going to miss them, check out the updated user manual to see how you can get exactly the same settings by using the available frequency separation buttons. Now all the frequency separation scripts are nested in one row and the button that used to be called custom frequency separation is now titled the HP custom, meaning it is the high pass frequency separation script that allows you to stop and select custom pixel radius that fits the area you're working on. Now if you already have our previous version of the beauty retouch panel, you will need to reinstall it. First, open the Adobe Extension Manager that you installed the first panel with, select the Beauty Retouch panel and remove it. Now locate the universal installation file for the Beauty Retouch panel and double-click on it. You need to first agree and accept our license, then select Install on the third-party disclaimer and done. Now open Photoshop and the updated panel should appear right where the old one used to be. If not, go to Window, Extension and check Beauty Retouch. You will not have to reinstall the pixel juggler as it is still the same old pixel juggler. As always enjoy and don't forget to send us your testimonials and share your screenshots featuring our panels tagging RA panels on social media.